Tyreek Hill already. Just, just cancel the season. Can we cancel the season? Y'all to gave this dude, Mahomes, another weapon. And we didn't even see Hollywood Brown out there. You got Hollywood on one side, Worthy on the other side, Rasheed Rice and Travis Kelsey controlling the middle. Fuck. <laughs> Niggas is shooting, it's all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy, man. Alright, look. Week one, opening game is in the books. Alright, y'all weren't getting no video last night. I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I don't do 12. 8 and 1 8 and recording unless it's my giants if it's my giants i'll suck it up i'll put the video out or maybe if the eagles lose or the cowboys lose and i gotta get my jokes off i might do that but i'm sorry lamar and mahomes ain't that important I'm, I'm going to sleep i can't sleep as it is so if i'm actually sleepy i'm going to sleep but with that being said it's three in the morning. I just got back from the gym. And I gotta say, after letting it marinate, because when I took my power nap and I woke up, I sat back and said to myself, that wasn't a touchdown. In real time, I'm thinking it's a touchdown, but now that I, I I sit back and I say, you know what? At the end of the day, that's what home field is for. If you're in Baltimore, that's a touchdown. If you're in Kansas City, that ain't a touchdown. You're supposed to give the home team the benefit of the doubt. So if you got to give a nigga the, 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 the toe tap treatment and say your toe was on the line because you an arrowhead, then it is what it is. That's just how the game is played. It's all in the game. You know what I'm saying? The game is the game. For those of y'all who watch The Wire, you know you get that reference. The game is the game. So when you're on the road, you're not going to get that favorable call that you would have got if you was in Baltimore. Because the, it could have went either way. It, it, didn't, it wasn't as clear cut as, oh, this isn't a touchdown or this is a touchdown. They could have called it either way and I'd have been fine with it. But you're in Arrowhead. It's the season opener. You got to give it to the home team. The two-time defending champions, you got to give them that. Damn, then again, Mahomes got three rings. Oh, wait. I just thought about it. it, it just, I was like, wait a minute. Two, I, like, I had to say, I was like, wait a minute. I thought he had the he dude got three rings, man. He ain't even 30 yet. Oh, my gosh. But uh, at the end of the day, fellas, Lamar Jackson had a fumble, unacceptable, and Lamar Jackson was barely 50% from the field, B. 26 for 41, he's barely completing 50% of his passes, bro. Barely. He ain't, he's not a good passer, man. He's just not that good at passing the ball. And the fact that he has 16 rushes for over 100 yards, that bothers me because you got that monster in the backfield. Like, you... You need to cut his carries in it. Listen, Derrick Henry should never have less than 20 carries in a game. Derrick Henry should never have less than 20 carries in a game when he's playing for the Ravens. Every single time the Ravens play the Chiefs, they feel the need to try to make Lamar better than what he is. They feel the need to try to showcase Lamar to make him look good against Mahomes. Don't do that. When you play the Chiefs, you game manage Lamar, run the ball, keep Mahomes off the field, and play a close game. Stop trying to put up points and outscore the Chiefs. It's as if they try to validate Lamar's MVPs when he plays Mahomes. It's like they try to validate Lamar's status in the top five rankings when he plays uh, Mahomes. Like They, they got to stop that, son. The, the Ravens, the next time they play the Chiefs, Need to practice ball control. Run the ball with Derrick Henry 25 times, play good defense, and keep him off the field. What do y'all think Tom Brady used to do to Peyton Manning until he got Moss and Wes Walker? What do you think Ben Roethlisberger and Phillip Rivers used to do to Peyton Manning when they had uh, Willie Parker and freaking Bettis and, 
and, and LaDainian Tomlinson and all that. They ran the ball and kept Peyton off the field. Okay? That's what you do. When you got a Peyton Manning or a Patrick Mahomes and they just throw touchdowns like, like it's nothing, you keep them dudes off the field. Run the ball, play good defense, and win that way. Stop trying to let Lamar Jackson throw the ball 40 times and beat Mahomes. He's not better than Mahomes. He's not going to shoot it out with Mahomes. Stop trying to do that. Stop it. You ain't learned from the AFC Championship? Lamar ain't built like that, man. Lamar needs to play ball control, win that way. Why y'all let this dude Mahomes get another weapon? Did y'all see Xavier Worthy? Xavier Worthy out there looking like Tyreek Hill already. Just, just cancel the season. Can we cancel the season? Y'all done gave this dude Mahomes another weapon. And we didn't even see Hollywood Brown out there. You got Hollywood on one side, Worthy on the other side, Rasheed Rice and Travis Kelsey controlling the middle. Fuck it. Just forget it. Forget it, forget it, forget it. Ain't nobody beating the Chiefs. Nobody beating Kansas City, son. It's over. It's, 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 it's cancer the season, bro. Yeah. It, they, they're too good. This is Buffalo fault. I blame Buffalo for this because Buffalo let them get Xavier Worthy. Why would Buffalo let them get Xavier Worthy? Can somebody please explain to me why the Buffalo Bills let Mahomes get the weapon that he needed to beat their ass for the next decade? Y'all got to make this make sense, B. Like, they literally gave them Xavier Worthy. I would have drafted Xavier Worthy just to keep him from the Chiefs. Dude, at the fastest 40 time ever, and you just going to give him to Kansas City. What you think Mahomes and Reed going to do with Xavier Worthy? What did you think was going to happen if you're Buffalo? Like I said, I got a friend who's a Ravens fan, and I told him, that's your problem. That ain't my problem. That's your problem. I'm a Giants fan. My team in the NFC. I ain't got to worry about this light-skinned nigga to the Super Bowl. All right, I ain't got to worry about him until I get to the Super Bowl. My problem is these little light-skinned niggas in the, in the North. Jordan Love, uh, Caleb Williams. We got some light-skinned dudes in the North that we might have to might have to be concerned with. Other than that, my Giants ain't got no issues. The 49ers can't pay everybody. Once they give Purdy $60 million a year, buy Kittle, buy Debo, buy somebody on defense, eventually the 49ers is going to come back to earth with the roster. So whatever we do. Uh, Dallas, whatever. Eagles, whatever. I mean, like we don't have these... There is no Mahomes in the, in the NFC. We ain't got these problems. So, good luck with that. You're a Bills fan, Ravens fan, Bengal fan. Uh, good luck with that. Good luck. But, um, what a way to start the season. Got to start it with some drama, right? It wouldn't be the NFL if it wasn't some kind of drama going on, right? But anyway, that's it. That's all, fellas. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, drop FUs in the comments if you rockin' with me, and stay vicious. This man. <laughs>